suppose in death, I want to treat them the way I would hope to be treated. I don't want to create a piece of art for the sake of art. I want to create a piece of art that honors who they were. So I don't want to turn them into an ashtray because it looks cool. I want to turn them into something that they want to be. My name is Nikki Barnett and I'm a Halifax-based artist. I make mixed media art out of animal bones. I went to Pátzcuaro in Michoacán, Mexico in the fall of 2014 for the Day of the Dead Festival. It's kind of a bucket list thing. I loved the idea of the festival um, and then I saw these skulls and they were all decorated beautifully and I just thought that that would be a really fantastic medium to work with. I love the idea that the skull housed a soul. Um, I loved the individuality of it. Um, I love the color of it. I love the texture of it. It, it. it lends itself well to to being artwork. So this is a buck. He's been soaking since about September. He was in a kind of leathery shape, so soaking this is gonna take some patience just to get it all off. Looking pretty good. Depending on where I get my skull from, if it's an older piece that has some tissue on it, it's going to need um, a little bit of tender loving care. If it's a fresher piece, I can just stick it into a pot of boiling water and, and cook it, and it tends to come off fairly easily. And some pieces I just find out in the woods and they're fairly clean, maybe a little bit of greenery on them, but nothing too substantial. So a little scrub and, and bleach and they're good to go. I think the most important thing with a piece initially is the story that it wants to tell. Um, I feel very much like the piece is, is a co-production between the two of us, so the skull um, sort of dictates what, what can happen to it. So maybe if it's an, an older piece or it's very delicate, um, if it's brittle, it doesn't want to be manipulated too much. If it resists certain things that I'm trying to do with it, I, I don't um, push it, I just let it be what it wants to be. I would like to think that the animal gets validation out of becoming this piece, that it's, um, it's validating that they were here and that they're not just a byproduct of sport and development, um, that they're given respect and dignity, ultimately.